Welcome back to the Good Days channel. Today we're going to cook with a seasonal ingredient, rhubarb. So rhubarb is a migrant-friendly ingredient, can make a lot of good recipes with it, very simple, delicious, like today's recipes, the rhubarb crumble. So we need about five stalks of rhubarb, which is already chopped and the fibers out, one tablespoon of maple syrup, two tablespoons of water, also a quarter cup of coconut flour, half a cup of oats, and two tablespoons of butter. For the end of the recipe, we'll need two tablespoons of maple syrup. Let's start cooking. First step, I've turned my oven on to 375 Fahrenheit. Now, in a skillet, turn it on. I place the rhubarb with the water and the maple syrup. I cook this for about 30 minutes or until the rhubarb is very soft and tender. While the rhubarb is cooking, we can start on working on the crumble. For this, in a bowl we place the coconut flour, the oats and the butter. And we start mixing this all together until we get a breadcrumb consistency. It took 20 minutes to the rhubarb to get into a puree consistency. It's completely melted, so it's ready for a crumble. Also, here you can see the crumble consistency I ended up with. I needed to add a little bit more of coconut flour at some stage. It was a bit uh, too wet, just one tablespoon more, and it's perfect. So now we can put all of this together in our little mold. There are only three of them, not the fourth of them. I put some on the side, oops. Mm. If you feel it's not sweet enough, you can add one tablespoon of maple syrup also. The crumble on top of it. Yes. All good. This will go in the oven for about 20 minutes uh, until you can see the rhubarb bubbles. And then I take them out, put some maple syrup with a brush on top of it and put it back for three minutes in the oven and it will be ready. I put some maple syrup in the microwave for 10 seconds. Be careful it bubbles away. And then I put some on my crumble. Look at those delicious rhubarb crumble. I wonder if I won't keep them all for myself. <laughs> They're so delicious, smell so good. So here they are. If you like them, thumbs up. Don't forget to share this recipe, to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more about how to create good days, visit gooddaysprograd.com. Bon appétit.